Okay, so today I'm just going to talk about the new announcement from Blackmagic Design where they're announcing support for Apple ProRes RAW. And this is a really big announcement for people that not only use Blackmagic cameras, people that use uh, DaVinci Resolve, but also people that use cameras outside of that ecosystem because it's it's going to kind of change things and how people can work. So. I mean, if you're already in the Blackmagic ecosystem, you know, using the Pocket, the Ursa, uh, any of the other cameras that they, they kind of have, you, you probably use in B-Raw, Blackmagic Raw. So you maybe don't have as much of a use for um, Apple ProRes Raw, but there might be certain projects where maybe you want to use it or, you know, you, you have to use it. So, um, you know, it's there if you need it. They've actually, what they've done for both the free version and the paid version of Resolve Studio, you can now just drag and drop ProRes RAW files straight into it. So they've brought an update in here. So if you've got DaVinci Resolve, you can kind of jump into the support page. I'll, I'll leave a link to, to this, but you can see here, you've got the free version and the paid version. And if you just kind of jump in, I'll just jump in on the, on the free one, but They've introduced loads of new stuff. I won't, won't go through everything, but there's a ton of new features in there. You can see they've changed things in like the cut and the edit, edit pages and a little bit of fusion stuff. But you can see here, we've got the support for decoding Apple ProRes raw clips. And like I say, that's in, in both versions. So whereas before you, you could make it work, you know, you could kind of like convert the clips and then kind of drop them in. but you know they tend to be huge files and doing all of that kind of um, doing all of that conversion before even getting into the edit could be a real pain so now you can literally just take your raw files drop them into um, DaVinci Resolve and off you go so that in itself is like a huge thing so you know anybody that uses Resolve that is using ProRes RAW from other uh, other camera systems great that's like a really big thing um, and then on top of that, they've also, for the um, Pocket 4K, I've not seen any news about the uh, Pocket 6K, but for the 4K, it actually now internally shoots ProRes RAW, which is awesome. So you've got a camera that's basically about $1,000, it's about £800 in the UK. So it shoots internal 4K ProRes RAW, internal B RAW, and it's, <laughs> like I say, just such an affordable camera. It's like... You know, that camera now is seven years old and it still really kind of punches above its weight. I mean, certainly for the price tag, it's a really, really good value camera, like really good. So, and the fact that um, Blackmagic um, Studio or Blackmagic Design is still kind of putting out updates like that seven years on for this camera is, is quite a testament to kind of what they're doing. So, I mean, that is that is amazing. I, I've quite... Um, <laughs> quite taken back that they they pushed that into the um into the pocket 4K so that's really nice and i mean like i say because it's a black magic camera a lot of people might not even be interested by that but you know some people if they've used final cut or they've got deliverables for um prores raw they might be kind of using that or you know they might be um yeah they, they might be interested in in kind of trying it so that's something and then the the next thing on top of that is the Blackmagic Video Assist so now we're kind of open to any camera that supports um, a kind of um, compatible with this so I mean I shoot mostly on Lumix cameras and most of them are compatible with the um, things like this so this is like the Video Assist um, the 12G is the one that has most of the big features so uh, with that you you can now do external ProRes RAW as well which they're starting that or they have started to bring that into some lumix cameras again i'm being a bit lumix specific but you know they have started to bring that into a couple of lumix cameras but now you have the ability if you buy the video assist you'll be able to do b-raw externally and black magic raw externally and obviously both of these the um the pocket 4k and the video assist they both supported prores anyway so you could do non-prores but you couldn't do ProRes RAW before, but now you can do that on both. Um, it's worth noting though, actually, the update isn't out yet for this, but the update is out for the um, the Pocket 4K update is out. Uh, I can show you that actually quickly. If we jump into uh, cameras, you can see here the Blackmagic camera 9.8 beta is out. And you can see on there, first thing in there, Pocket Cinema 4K, 
Apple ProRes raw codec support. So that's really good. Like I say, it's kind of like, it's not just if you're a user of, I mean, even Resolve, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of can suit everybody that can use those tools. So you've got like the, the video assist support, um, Blackmagic 4K users, I'm sure gonna be happy with that because that's a really good update again. And yeah, you've just, you've kind of got that all around. People that use Resolve Studio, like I say, even the free version, now you've got the option to just pull that in. There are some um, limitations there in the free version, but you know, they, if, as long as you work within those, you've just got an amazing tool for nothing. And if you do go beyond that, you're obviously doing quite high end work. So just pay for the license fee because it's only, you know, it's under 300 pounds here. Um, so you know a few hundred dollars that's a one-off fee and they've just been supporting it for a long time now I mean I don't know if that will change in the future but for right now it's just like you can't get a better value for money NLE it's, it's really good I mean Final Cut Pro is like a similar or Final Cut X is a similar kind of price tag but it's just like the updates that they push into Resolve are amazing like it's just get so much support it's really good so, you know, if you haven't seen any of this, you know, go and check it out. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really big update. Like I say, it's, it could be really useful for just tons of people within that ecosystem and outside of it. It's just, um, yeah, it's a great update. So when I was kind of on the borderline of buying the um, Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and actually I think I probably will be getting that now just because that's, you know, the extra kind of icing on the cake. And like I say, it's it's not a super expensive camera so that makes it even more kind of appealing to me now but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments if you found this video helpful give it a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe